Peninsula High quarterback Peyton Knowles is having a senior season to remember. He's getting close to 2,000 all-purpose yards and has nearly 20 touchdowns. But it's the number on his jersey that inspires him on Friday nights. Chris Egan explains in the prep zone. Welcome everybody to the 2022 Fish Bowl. It's one of the biggest high school rivalry games in the state. The Fish Bowl, Gig Harbor versus Peninsula. This season, Peninsula won with quarterback Peyton Knowles leading the way. This is my family. I, there's no place I'd rather be. It's the best one in the world. But two years ago, Peyton was actually playing for the other team. I decided to go to um, Gig Harbor because I thought I was going to have a better chance to uh, start at a young age. I thought I was going to have a better opportunity there. Aside from football, Peyton is one of the top shortstops on the West Coast. He hit 527 last season and committed to play baseball for Gonzaga. Baseball's my first love. I've been swinging a bat ever since I could stand and walk. I don't know what it's about it. I just love it. Peyton started playing for the Gig Harbor Stingrays at the age of seven. It's where he first met Caleb Wanaka. He was always just big, tall kid, always super talented. Wasn't always like really fast until he got older, but he was, he was a leader and he was passionate and he was fiery. The two hit it off and played with or against each other for the next 10 years. He was competitive in everything he did, whether it was in the classroom or on the field. In high school, the two friends would go their separate ways. Caleb to Peninsula and Peyton to the Tides. He was not happy. I heard about it every day, every day. He, he told me something new. He called me a traitor. He'd just sock me in the arm or he was, he was not happy. Rivals, but still friends. During the pandemic, they spent a lot of time at Peyton's house, lifting weights and hitting in the cage. On June 28th of 2021, Peyton and Caleb were planning to meet. We're supposed to come here and lift. But Caleb went to visit some old friends instead. It's tough for everybody. Yeah. Yeah. It was a long night. That day, a crash on Bliss Cochran Road. The trunk they were in left the road and hit a tree. Caleb and three others were ejected from the bed of the truck. Caleb died that night of injuries. It was life changing. It, it changed my whole perspective on everything. And after um, the memorial service, he came to us and said, I, I've got to go back to Peninsula. I just, that's, that's where I need to be. Those are the people that know him and love him as much as I do. And for the healing process for both myself and the other kids, he goes, that's just where I need to be. We need to help each other. Healed. When he reached out and said that he needed to make a move to um, be around people that were going through the same process, I totally respected that. Caleb, a standout in baseball and basketball, was also going to play football his senior year. This is Caleb Monica's Peninsula jersey. Oh yeah, as long as I can remember, he's always been number nine. It's what he wore for baseball, basketball, football. Number nine, just a number to some, but not to Peyton. And so I thought that the best way I could honor him is honor him by wearing his number. That's what I did, and we ran with it. This season, every snap, play, and pass has extra purpose. There you go, much better on the depth. Peyton formed a bond playing baseball with Caleb, and his friend is still pushing him to be his best. He takes Caleb everywhere he goes. I feel him every time I'm, I'm hitting, every time I'm in school, every time on the football field. He, it's just, at the end of the day, it's doing it all for him. Peyton says he felt Caleb's presence that night at the fishbowl. You know, when my buddy passed away, I found a way back, and there's no place I'd rather be. Caleb meant a lot to the Peninsula community, and they will never forget the legacy of number nine. I want to make him proud. Chris Egan, King 5 Sports. A scholarship in Caleb's name has been set up at Peninsula High. If you'd like to donate, you can mail a check to the Peninsula High School Baseball Boosters for the Caleb Wanaka Scholarship Fund. You can also Venmo to at PHSVPO.